Biden wins, does that mean Bitcoin's going to go up? Because he's going to print. And if Trump wins, he can print less, just a little bit less. So, who's better? <laughs> Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. I'm here to join with Indy Campo. Oh, good morning, people. How are you today? And we're going to be talking about who's best for Bitcoin, Biden or Trump. And we're going to be talking a little bit about that. We're going to be talking a little. We're going to be talking about Iran, like uh, you know, doing that, right? using the bitcoins to uh, store their money, their wealth. I don't think that's a good idea. A bill to uh, outlaw cryptocurrency. Uh, an awful lot of our international power comes from the fact that the dollar is the standard unit. Uh, I think that's very, very dangerous to be the first person to do that. I think they should have waited for, you know, some other country, right? Like, you know, I don't know, uh, China? <laughs> to get away with it. Maybe somebody a little bit smaller, right, in between, but whatever. Anyways, we're going to do some TA. Uh, we're going to talk about what's going to happen uh, next to Bitcoin. Where is it going to go? Uh, and where should you uh, set your buy orders? Because you know what? Uh, there's not like we're going to be going back down to 10,000, right? It's been, I don't know how many days, more than 100, uh, more than 100 days. We've been over $10,000. I don't see us. I don't see us going below $10,000. Do you, NT? No. <laughs> right. Yeah. Not anymore. All right, before we get on to the TA, Inti's got a few words to say. Yes, as always, people, it's worth reminding you that this video is for entertainment purposes only, and this is not financial advice. Please do your own research before putting any of your hard-earned money on the market. All righty, all right. So let's head over to my screen here. So I got uh, my stream deck. Maybe I should move that a little bit closer so that it's easier to uh, click the buttons. And, uh, yeah. As you can see, let's just go to the weekly first and, and chat about that. You can see we're already pulling back from this, uh, going into this uh, this trade location short, right? This is where the shorts, they come in hardcore, hardcore in this red box here. And you can see that we did the exact same thing down back here. The shorts just came in hardcore. Now, even I, even we were looking for shorts, me and Inti, Inti and I were looking for shorts. And we have a couple of them firing off right here. Yeah, it's funny because my stop is his entry. So <laughs> if my trade got stopped, he enters. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So this is my my trade and this was Inti's trade right here. So uh, Inti's in the trade. Um, um, I actually decided to uh, get in on the trade a second time. Once I realized that it was bouncing, and I'm, let's, let me bring up the chart actually. So what I did here, right, um, let's look at the four hour. Uh, I was looking at it, I was like going, yeah, it's gonna do it, it's gonna do it, and no. Okay, fine. It's gonna, I'm gonna get another chance at it. I didn't think I was gonna get a Darth Maul candle, right, Darth Maul candle, right, where, you know, uh, basically, you know, he's got the, the, uh, the lightsaber with both sides, right? He comes and uh, he, he wipes out both the longs and the shorts. Well, yeah, there was a Darth Maul candle. I think it was better on the, one, the hourly, you can probably see it, no? Do you see the dark mall? No, it's not on the hourly. But anyways, um, right here you see this is a Darth Maul candle, kind of wiping out the longs, wiping out the shorts, right? Um, and I, I managed to pick up some at at the top here, uh, as it we uh, pick up a short on the top here as it went back down. So I knew that uh, I probably wasn't going to get in at the the seven, seventy eight point six because that's where that's my hail mary trade. Right, that's what I was interested in, especially since we're we have the reason why we got into this hail mary trade again, once again, is because on the four hour we have a double divergence. Right, let me just do that again for you guys to miss that. All right, uh, right here, you can see from here to here is a divergence, and from here to here is the other divergence. And uh, it's also visible on the uh, the MACD, but I'm not going to go over that. Um, and you can see the divergence as price action from here to there, right, is actually going higher, but the, the indicators are going lower. And again, from here to there, 
right? Again, going lower, and then a confirm, right? Once they confirm, right? You don't run into a short as it confirms. That's that's how you get wrecked, <laughs> right? It got confirmed on this channel right here. And so if you wanted to go, yeah, yeah, it's breaking down, it's breaking down, I'm gonna go short, you, you got seriously wrecked, right? <laughs> right? So um, you have to wait for the market to come back at you and give you an opportunity to get in on the short. So come back at you, right? And I, that's where I like the, the uh, my Hail Mary trade, right? 78.6, right? You got you start praying, right? <laughs> As it comes, because it comes barreling right at you, right? When it does, it comes barreling at you. Like you like, you'd be like, uh, am I making the right trade here? <laughs> so that's why I call it the Hail Mary trade, right? And yeah, it looked like it was coming barreling right back at me, and no, not quite. Sixty-one point eight was was uh, I think your entry point, right? Uh, uh, at not not quite. My entry point was the fractal on the four hour. I see. And um, which fractal was that? Which one? Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Because right. here's the four hour right here. Yeah. We're in front of us right now. I'm looking at it. Yes, yes, yes. I Do know. you show me point to point to the fractal here? It, look on the screen right yes, here. Yes, I know, I know, I know. I want to see how it is exactly. It was, it wasn't there. No. It was, uh, it was that candle. This candle? Yeah, it's the end of it. Like oh. the bottom of the week, I entered right there. I think. Oh, I see. Okay, so these three candles right here. Yes. Is the fractal that you're talking about? I see. I see what you're talking about. All right. So what a fractal is basically, when you see. Um, uh, a can three candles right a fractal is three candles and you see that they have a top candle right and the the top candle is the highest point and then and then the uh, the the the, the, second, the first candle is always has has a lower point right but this lower point is not lower than this one and the on the third candle is lower this lower point is lower than the this the, the middle candle but it can't go higher than the top point of this candle and that's of course, so that's considered a fractal that's and then you can reverse that of course on uh, on a uh, um uh, 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 if it's if you're going up, upward so right here is the reversal this one right is the reverse fractal where it's actually going a bullish fractal and this was a bearish fractal right here these three candles so you can see them right and that's what T was looking at. that's what he was trading off of so those who, who want to know what a fractal is. Okay, so um, so yeah, I was looking at the 61.8, which was, uh, I, I was considering the 61.8. Actually, I did do the 61.8, and I got pushed out on the first try. And then I said, okay, fine, if I get pushed out on the first try, I'll do the 78.6. And, oh, it looks, looks like it was, looks like it does get in there. It looks like my numbers were must must have been off on my trade because my entry was a lot a little bit higher. Look at that, the six seventy eight point six uh, what got hit on the Darth Maul. Oh, look at that! I must have like uh, drawn my uh, my fibs wrong the first time around. Yeah, that happens, right? Alrighty. Um, so yeah, the third. <laughs> That's funny. It's almost at the six six six. Let's see here. 13666 look at that those bastards man they love that anyways still not out of the woods here right um if bitcoin you can see there's a little bit of an issue here that we're not uh, even though we're in the trade here doesn't mean for sure we're gonna get it right because look at this look at this you can see, let's see here, let's go to the bottom, candle bodies here. You can see that there's a little bit of a trend line happening here, and we could end up um, bouncing off this trend line and then going higher. So um, it could, we could get wiped out here. We have to break this line. Once we break, um, break uh, I think once we break this point right here, I think we're golden. If we close a four-hour close below this, uh, the twelve thousand, the thirteen thousand level, uh, I think we're golden. 
both uh, Inti and I, I did enter it on trade here, and then we're heading down. All right, so enough with uh, Bitcoin, right? And where we're going, actually, you know, I forgot before, before I go on to Ethereum, I should talk about where we're going with um, with Bitcoin. So basically, I would say um, at the very least, at the very least, we'll get um, we'll get all the way down to the twelve thousand seven hundred level, very bare minimum, right? Uh, we might do a little bit more, um, but we're probably going to have to check this level and then come back down do a little bit more so i'm waiting for that little bit more with my trade i'm not going to i'm not going to um i'm not going to just accept this um particular ab equals cd right that uh that bitcoin is showing all right next is um ethereum poor ethereum man poor ethereum uh i i'm i'm kind of happy you know i want to buy ethereum i actually tweeted that out today um, um let me just let me just head up to my tweet here um i'm gonna this is what i'm gonna do with my uh bitcoin my cash from the gold basically i'm going into the ethereum and and uh, i'm having troubles with my bank because they're not letting, letting me have the cash because you know once you deposit cash in the bank it's not yours right and they could do and if they don't want to give it to you that's totally up to them right because <laughs> it's not yours <laughs> It's the loss of them, right? And so they're making they're making a big deal of giving me my cash to, to buy Bitcoin and, crypt, uh, and cryptocurrencies, and that's just the way it is, right? Um, I hate it. It's always been a problem for me, and I'm looking forward to the renaissance that we have when we don't have to deal with some banker telling me what I can do with my money, <laughs> right? I mean, it's ridiculous, right? So, anyways. This is good for me um, personally. I think uh, because I know that it, we're gonna probably come back down to the sixty-one point eight at the very least before we go any kind of bounce. And if we fail, right, um, the seventy-eight point six has to hold this thing. A failure of that, and we break down. If we break down here, if let me just make sure my fibs are correct. Right? I don't want to do that again. Uh, if we break down. Uh, the th through the three uh, and, and break down through uh, sorry uh, the three hundred and eight. It's lights out, lights out, <laughs> lights out for Ethereum, right? For a while, right? We're gonna see Ethereum. Well, I don't see it going more than uh, the two hundred thirty four two hundred thirty four dollar level, but uh, but uh, for sure we should see a bounce on the two hundred daily moving average. I can't see it. I cannot see Ethereum not bouncing there. And if it comes down to the two hundred and thirty dollar level, it's got to do like some big wick on a daily kind of thing uh, before b before it uh, it goes. Uh, it's not going to go any lower. I will find it very difficult to see that happening. I, I find it difficult to see that happening. It going below the two significantly below two hundred and thirty four dollars at all, or even below the. Um, the the 200 day moving average all right with that said uh, if you're not watching this video live you're missing out right there's lots of important information uh for for everybody who's watching this live and you want to see this thing live in vivo right so to do that all you have to do is uh purchase basically a dj15 token Right, and then you could be a part of the group where we actually provide the link to our videos um, that we're doing live before uh, before they get edited. And so, yeah, uh, join us there. And also, if you don't want to go through the whole process, I mean, because it is a little bit of a process, but you know what? I think you should do it because it's a learning thing. You will be able to learn something new and cool. Right, and uh, basically, all you have to do is head over to the uh, description, right? You can see uh, in the description below, and then there is links to how to buy the DJ15 token, how to uh, enter into the group, and you'll be able to enter the group. So click on these two videos, watch these two videos, and learn something new, and join us in 
with our live studio with our live studio audience and be part of the question and answer period. And hey guys, watching live, don't forget get your questions lined up, right? For for right after the video. Okay. Uh, <laughs> also, don't forget to hit the like. Hit that like, smash that like button, right? Um, and yeah, if you're watching this video uh, live, make sure you watch the edited version and hit that like too. <laughs> all right, thank you. All right, I want to thank all the hundred, the hundred and fifty new subscribers from yes since yesterday, right? Who have joined us? Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Um, uh, I can't believe all the love that I'm getting, and, and, uh, and I want you guys to continue to, uh, you know, help out and, 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 you know, by just watching and hit the like button, right? Thank you very much. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe. All right. Also, if you want, if you realize, hey, you know what? The DJ15 token thing is not for you. And you want to also get some trade ideas and stuff like that, that we've been placing in to our, our, um, our Telegram group, right? As you can see right here. This is the group that me and Inti post our, post our trades in. We have a little bit of fun. And you can see we're having a little bit of fun here. Um, if you want to be a part of that, right? Um, oops, my mouse is dead. Please, yeah, hit the subscribe button. Uh, uh, hit the subscribe now button here and join this group. for Try it out for one month first, right? You don't have to do you don't have to do like a whole year or two years first right try it out for a little bit and get 70 percent off right and uh, see if you like the group and so forth yeah and then you can like always uh uh later on purchase more subscription all right all right well let's get on with uh, the news of today before we get on to the main topic is iran oh my gosh right we're hearing that it, that iran central bank may start accumulating bitcoin it has begun. <laughs> it, seriously, folks, man, uh, it's 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 going to be the best investment. Bitcoin is going to be the best investment of of every person's lifetime on that's alive today on the planet. Even someone who just got born right now, they'll never see anything like this happen ever right for a very long time maybe 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 for another few hundred years nothing no investment will beat out what bitcoin is about to do right for another few hundred years afterwards easily you are in the epicenter of the biggest wealth transfer in human history in fact this will we'll be looking back at this and going, man, we can't think of any other human history event that caused so much wealth to be moved in one direction and to one place. You won't be able to come up with something like that. Nothing. Nothing. And it starts with the central banks buying Bitcoin. Right? Um, because they're behind the curves, right? They've got a lot of gold. They have like 17% of all gold in the world. Right, and 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 they don't have they have zero Bitcoin, as far as we know, right? So far, the Iranian government has amended its uh, re uh, regulations on cryptocurrencies to allow them to uh, exclusive use for funding and imports at time of I increased pressure on the country's normal use of hard currencies. Yes, because they're being sanctioned by the United States, and this is not not the greatest thing for Bitcoin, but at the same time. Um, once we get to a trillion dollar market cap, you know, we know that they're going to come. The United States government is going to come, right? They're going to be coming full force because they have to, or else they're dead. Um, <laughs> the cabinet amended a previously ish issued uh, legislation on the use of cryptocurrencies in Iran by directing digital mo monies into the central bank of Iran funding mechanism for imports, according to the Saturday report by the official uh, uh, Iran... Iran, Iran news agency, I guess. Uh, the report said the new regulations have been enacted to in response to a joint uh, proposal by this the CBI and the the Iran Ministry of Energy. So I guess the Central Bank of Iran, 
Yeah, wow. So there it is, folks. Uh, this is this is the beginning of the end. I don't I don't like the fact that Iran is the first, but somebody had to be first. So uh, uh, because they, uh, the the reason why I don't like Iran being first is because they could bomb the United States can bomb them into freaking next year, right? Um, and and that is most likely the next move, right? So uh, in order to scare people away, uh, scare other countries away from. Uh, from using Bitcoin in the central banks. But um, if they could hold off the wrath of the United States until other countries start piling in uh, to Bitcoin, then they, they really, uh, it's just a waste of time for them to bomb, a uh, waste of time and money for them to bomb Iran, right? So they just have to hold off the wrath of the United States until other countries start to follow, and then they can, they can, uh, they can survive. They, they won't be uh, attacked by the United States. Of course, they'll make up some BS saying, oh, yeah, they've got weapons of mass destruction, blah, 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 whatever, 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 right? <laughs> As the reasons why they're attacking Iran. But we all know it will be because of uh, this, this central bank decision. Okay, uh, because it gets around the sanctions and stuff like that. All right. Um, my next topic, right, is, um, is this, right? Uh, when I read this, Dutch police seized 30, 3, 3, 33 million in Bitcoin from a couple accused of money laundering. And you, if you read through this, right, I'm not going to spend too much time on this, right? But the, they, they talk about how, oh, they found all this money from these people. And yeah, it's, uh, they're money laundering. Um, exactly how and what? And we don't, you don't know. They're just accused. And they're, they're just, they're, they're guilty. And that's it. This, this, this whole article does not give you the whole sense that maybe they didn't do anything illegal. They just didn't pay their taxes or didn't properly pay the taxes or didn't properly announce the information of what they were doing, right? It's just, yeah, yeah, this is money laundering, sorry, right? Uh, and that's it. So maybe they were doing stuff legally or or they just didn't follow all the rules and didn't know about it, And but, but because, you know, it doesn't matter... Ignorance of the law is not is not a defense. You're money laundering. Sorry. Goodbye. <laughs> right? And because of that, I'm 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 skeptical. Right? After reading this article, I'm skeptical that these guys actually did something uh, illegal. I'm very skeptical of that. And uh, and, and it was just to make it just it sounds like this is just a fair tactic for the government and and. Um, uh, and basically, it smells like propaganda. This whole article smells like propaganda. And yeah, and I, I, I expect I, I'm afraid that I might get because looking at this, I, I, I could easily be considered a money launderer too, based on what, based on the limited information that uh, they've provided here. It's scary. So now, on to the main topic, is. Whether or not, who's better for Bitcoin, right? Um, basically, right, no matter who wins, right, I agree with this statement. Uh, it, we're still going to have, whoever wins in November, we're still going to have a ne November and a December. <laughs> right? We get, I think we get a double brr with Biden. <laughs> right? But either way, Ethereum and Bitcoin wins. Right? With the brr. Because <laughs> they get the brr. <laughs> right? We're, we're, we're going to get absolutely pummeled with cash. Well, not us. Corporations. You might get a little bit of pissed on, right? Revived by the government. <laughs> they get a little bit of trinkle. <laughs> Gold, a, a slight golden shower, right? <laughs> From oh the God. government. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Can, can you see it in the live video? <laughs> oh my god. Maybe I went too much on that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn. Oh, oh my god, god, I'm having too much fun. <laughs> too much fun. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you might get a little bit, right? <laughs> but anyways, you know the majority is going to the corporations. And uh, yeah, the you won't find uh, the major corporations like uh, Apple, 
uh, Microsoft and all those guys, they are they're so entrenched with the system that they're not going to, um, you know, um, move their cash holdings into Bitcoin because they're guaranteed a percent a higher percentage increase either by their revenue or by the government making sure that, yeah, 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 we'll take care of you, right? By not taxing you, by not doing certain things to ensure that your revenue continues to grow higher, faster than than the amount they print. So, uh, yeah, they are um, they're immune, so they don't need to worry about uh, protecting their cash flow. Whilst everybody else below them, they do. So it's going to be interesting, right? Um, and then once those those peons below the major corporations start to move in, the higher those guys, the guys who are at the top, right, so the Warren Buffets and all those guys, they'll realize that, that they'll get more cash, but then those cash th- that cash will not have any meaning if all the other guys are accepting Bitcoin. So it's going to be interesting. Um, and um, basically, what I think in the end is that, um, yeah, let me just go back to my uh, main profile, that um, buying Bitcoin is the only vote that will force real change. Because we're not going to get any change from either one of these cl- these clowns. Um, you know, um, tr- choosing between uh, Trump and Biden is like choosing between a murderer and a rapist. Uh, to, to, to take care of your child. It's just, <laughs> it's just, you wouldn't want to choose either of them, right, basically. So I don't, I, I'm not interested in, uh, in either of them in, in this selection. And um, I really think that uh, anyone who thinks this is true, right, uh, they've, they've lost their minds. <laughs> right? Don't you agree? Yes. <laughs> Um, All right. If you think the government is going to take to actually take care of you, you're living on another planet. It's exactly. that simple. Exactly. It's, it's, it has always been like that. It's yeah. always been like you taking care of it. Exactly. Be, by being a slave. Exactly. Exactly. So uh, yeah, that's how I feel about the government and how I uh, uh, I think what I what I see with uh, Biden and Trump is. It's the same same stuff, same um, same uh, feces, different pile. <laughs> right? That's a, that's what you say, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. If you're watching this uh, video in the edited version, the li- people who are watching live, hang on there. We're going to be uh, doing uh, the Q and A afterwards, so uh, look out for that. And if you want to join the Q&A, remember what we said. Just join Pandora's wallet or purchase the DJ15 token. Information is in the description below. All right. Thank you for watching. Cheers, people. Bye.